Well, welcome back to Morning Break. You can celebrate the Thanksgiving holiday with friends and help support the local farmers who are the heart and soul of our food community. Dr. Deidre Guillem is the Executive Director of the Forsyth Farmers Market. She's here this morning to explain how to hold a farms giving event and turn it into a fundraiser for the farmers market as well. Good morning, how are you? Good in yourself, Tim. I am great, thank you. Uh, farms giving, I'm thinking, is a kind of a twist on the friends giving theme? Most definitely. Um, <clears throat> so, a farms giving, we actually ask local businesses, patrons of the market, or just the community at large, come out to our farmers market purchase some things from our local farmers, um, and have a meal with your family and community, right? Um, it doesn't have to be as extravagant as a 10-course dinner, but there are some that do that. Um, it could be just a chili, right? And just getting together over a football game and having a meal to um, support the work of the farmer's market who specifically supports our farmers. Yeah, and well, whatever you decide to do, whether it's a full meal or, or something simpler, <laughs> you can find everything you need at the farmer's market because we have so many great vendors there, so many great farms coming down and, and sourcing it. Very much so. Um, I think over the last year we've had um, 65 wow. vendors on roster. We just uh, finished our selection last night, so we will be add, adding, to our, uh, adding to our arsenal. And so we're just excited about the great work that we're doing um, in community, but um, making sure that our farmers have access mm -hmm. to spaces to sell their wares is really what's um, embedded in me because I grew up on a farm. Oh, did you really? I did. Excellent. So you really appreciate that these farmers have a, a way to get their goods out to people and you know, so they're not dependent on wholesaling and everything like that. When they deal with the community, it really helps them. Right. And it's you know where your food is coming from, right? Um, you build a relationship with your farmer, you build a relationship with other vendors, um, and especially seeing COVID, yeah. social connectedness kind of separated us, um, but, well, disconnected us, and now we're seeing that it's going back together. So I'm just ecstatic about not just this, but um, every aspect of the farmer's market, but the farm's giving is a way yeah. to bring community back together. Uh, the Forsyth Farmer's Market is so popular, people probably know this, but we should mention it's Saturdays, 9 to 1. I'm there at 9 o'clock every morning <laughs> because I want to make sure I get the stuff that I need when I go down there. But you will also be having a farm's giving uh, that the farmer's market will be putting on. Right. This is our first year hosting our own in-house farm's giving. Um, it, it will be on January the 7th. It's a Gullah Geechee theme one since we're right here in the Low Country, Coastal Georgia corridor. I, I am a Gullah Geechee woman, and so it, it's, it brings me great honor to bring my culture on a spin of Farms Giving. And the Farms Giving season, or you know, how we're doing it, it goes from now all the way through January, right? Right, right. So you don't have to feel pressured to go to the market this weekend and do it. Um, you can go all the way from November to January and, um, you know, just really just center it around food and community and relationship building. Yeah, that, that fresh food from local farms. That's how Listen, you want to do it. And it tastes different, right? <laughs> it, it, it really does. It does. It really, and it cooks different. It does, you know, it, it's, right. It's, it's, somehow it seems like it's faster to cook fresh real it food. It is. It is. It's faster. It's healthier. Um, and, you know, one of the great things that I really wanted to do in this role is really change relationships with food. Uh, for our people. Yeah. Uh, before we go, I just want to mention that you also have a, uh, a luncheon coming up? Yes, so this will be our inaugural luncheon. Um, I'm excited. Forsyth is approaching 15 years of existence, wow. right? And um, we are so SOW, much more than a market. And so we're asking the community to come out. It's free, and I want to stress free. Um, we'll, it will be held on November the 30th at Vintage Venue um, in West Savannah. I think it's 980 Industry Drive, okay. that's it, um, at 1130. And um, you'll have great food directly from our vendors and farmers from the farmer's market, a strong keynote speaker from a native Savannian, Ms. Sadrina brown Jalau, who is the daughter of um, civil rights activist oh. attorney, Sage Brown. Yeah. Um, so she's going to bring a great message around food access and what it means to really so source local food. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming in this morning, and thank you for putting together such a great farmer's market that the community enjoys so much. And happy Thanksgiving to you. Same to I'm you. sure that you got all your produce from the farmer's market. I got my produce, <laughs> my turkey, my ham. I got everything. Yes. So good to see it. Thank you so much. Same. Thank Appreciate you. It. Well, up next, we continue our Georgia Peanut Commission cooking series.